Hi guys, it's Angie and Andrew with Rags, Tags, and Confections, and we're finally coming back to you um, after a bit of a break with some, well, a happy mail for us, even though we were expecting it. Um, our hero order and Concord Ninth order came. Now, every month we get the Hero Arts monthly kit, monthly card kit. And it's one that we actually look forward to. There's always a variety of stamps and dies and pieces that ordinarily we probably wouldn't gravitate toward. But once we have them, we find a lot of uses out of them. And one thing with Hero, um, every order over $50 in the U.S. is free shipping. And typically we don't order add-ons for kits, but this was a Christmas release, winter release, whatever, however you want to look at it. And um, the, the pieces that are with the add-ons, to me, are like timeless Christmas, winter themes, not little cutesy um, animals or elves or something like that, but like for me, traditional Christmas, what Christmas means to me anyhow, just my opinion. So yeah, we have the, so we took advantage of the free shipping. Now with the standard kit, it came with, let's get these little purdies out of the way here so I don't lose them. I'm gonna dump these out, that's gonna glare. These little star, find the invoice here. Okay, they're not exactly broke down as to what. No, it's just as the kit. So, and I don't have the my phone open here to see what the actual name of these are, but they are some 3D iridescent stars. A little dime baggy of them. Yeah, most people think of a dime bag as something bad. In the crafting world, dime bag is cha-ching. Look at the cuties. Who knows, I might offend somebody because I just said dime bag too. Oh well, such is life. Now the other small piece that this came with is the iridescent watercolor ink. And if I can find the piece that I just was playing with, there it is. <clears throat> it's quite shimmery in the bottle. I know that's probably not going to pick up all that mica that's in there. But there's the kind of plain half of the cardstock. And then the top half here has that iridescent on. It's kind of like a bottle of um, your Nuvo pen or your Winkostella pen, only in high test. So I punched a snowflake out of the middle of that to play around with it and just see what it would look like. Obviously, don't punch your paper while it's still wet because it's going to tear. So the kit also came with, and I better put the lid back on that, with, came with the gorgeous glitter paper. I do like Hero's glitter paper because it's, the glitter is in the paper. I mean, this is like, it's smooth. It, it die cuts beautifully and it doesn't come off. It's in the paper. I don't like messing with glitter paper that ends up that stuff everywhere. It's beautiful, but like for the next six months, you're looking at glitter. So it came with six sheets, the blue, the silver, and this beautiful green. So, gorgeous paper. And nice thick card stock at that. Those back in. Okay, now for the main part of the kit. It always comes wrapped with a coordinating ribbon. 
So I put it in my little box up here with ribbons. So when I'm making cards from this kit, I can just grab it and add it on. So I'll tuck that in its little box. And then as the coordinating dies, number one die that I'm anxious to play with here. And oh, 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 sorry guys, sorry guys. Oh, didn't mean to make anybody sick. Holy cow. Please stay. Please stay. Whew. I gave myself a heart attack there. There's the coordinating dies, but this tree is one of their paper layering dies, so that it... I'll show you a die here later on with this one of their paper layering. It doesn't completely die cut through. You have pieces that you can fluff up, so you end up with a fluffy tree. But those dies coordinate with these stamps. Now, I did not see, count how many were on this stamp set, but there's a little ice pond, a Merry Christmas, a bench, a little raccoon twisted up in lights, cute little fawn, um, three, four different ice skaters, or little animals stacked up to decorate the tree, and a bunch of little findings for on the tree, the light icicles. So, this is going to be a fun set to use. Quite a variety of different things we can do with that. So now, as I said, we don't usually do the add-ons, even though they come at a huge discount to order the whole thing at one time. But we didn't order the whole set because there was just some pieces in there I know we wouldn't use, but we did get the, these ones to go with it. And I love these tiny little sentiments because there's we don't have any Christmas sentiments like to stamp on inside of cards and only a few main sentiments for an outside so we kind of took advantage of um, this kit and the add-ons so this one has may your holidays be filled with and then wishing you tidings of to you Christmas on earth this season may you be blessed with believe in to the world and a happy new year so there's so many different sentiments you can come up with with just that. And again, the timeless pine boughs and pine cones and bells, bows, some stuff that's not going to go just a fad. And the same way with snowflakes. Snowflakes are timeless as well. And we have let it snow, merry, winter greetings, Christmas, white, seasons of love, and wishing you a... And these snowflakes, you could either use them on their own or they can be stamped on top of each other and layered to create countless number of snowflakes. Just like real snowflakes, not one is exactly alike. Now this set we had to order. This just screams our family. Our son is an avid ice fisherman and his wife, the girl, fiance, I'll get it right. Sorry, guys. Um, little ice fisherman, the little fish, the little polar bear with the fish, the little ice hut, little bucket of fish, and it says, "You're cool. You're such a great catch. Ice to see you. Happy winter. Snow, much fun." And then it has the coordinating dies as well. So, as we've been finding stamp sets that have coordinating dies, we've been trying to get them just because it makes life a little easier. This was another one that had the coordinating dies. Again, kind of, in my sense, timeless. Pine boughs, baubles, bows, pine cones. And then we have joyous, wishing you, seasoned, merry Christmas, bright, and the ampersand. And then the coordinating dies for it as well. And they'll match the, it, these are layering bows too. One other thing we definitely do not have are Christmas background stamps. And I can't wait to stamp this out and it's just screaming color me. And I, <laughs> I'm ready to retreat and hide and do some coloring. So these are six by six, huge rubber stamps so much detail these are just gorgeous their background stamps are just jaw-dropping gorgeous 
So we have this one with the pine boughs, pine cones, poinsettias, holly berries, mistletoe. And then this one's just a snowflake background. So you can give you something in the background, but not in your face and take over everything. So that's those two. And then the last add-on piece for this kit that is a stamp and die combo is the season's greetings and Merry Christmas. We have a beautiful poinsettia, a very airy pine bow, the Christmas stamps, the postage stamp. And I think this is written in French. It's like the Christmas story. I'm not good at languages, so. Other than apparently bad language. So, um, I mean, the mistletoe, this beautiful cardinal. I, I just, I can't wait to open these up and play. Now, we picked up the infinity dies this trip as well. Um, now at least this is not with, this is not part of the kit. This, that, the all with the red is part of the add-ons for the kit. But I wanted a postage stamp look for some Christmas, um, what's the, embellishments I wanted to work on. And it just so happens that this stamp this postmark image. I had to try it as soon as I seen it. Like, oh my gosh, is it gonna work? I didn't stamp it out yet, but I seen I did check it out, see if it worked, and it does. There's one, two, three. It's a third size out of that postage stamp die that the postage stamp stamp will fit in perfectly. So that's going to make some really cute embellishment pieces. And now that I see that we've seen how nice the infinity dies are from Hero, um, I think we may end up hopefully adding some more of them to our stash just for some basic pieces. That was with the... Why do I feel like I'm missing something? From oh, I am missing something yet. The other paper layering. <laughs> Sorry guys, I thought I was organized here. Okay, so these are they're fancy dies. We need two different styles of hummingbirds. I don't know if this has a name on it. Paper layering hummingbird pair is what this one is. And when these, this is like what the Christmas tree is in the, the kit this month. You die cut them and then you get some pieces that don't completely cut out. And you can kind of lift them up and fluff them and you get that three-dimensional look with just one die and it's not adding a lot of bulk <laughs> try it on here see if this is dark enough or no well kind of blends in with that too but there you can see a little bit of the dimension on there and that's what that Christmas tree is going to do. And then the wings on the other one are just spread out to the sides. We both love hummingbirds, so. Alright, so the last part of the hero was this bandana background stamp. And us being a bunch of backwoods, redneck hicks, um, bandanas and camo and farm and fishing and all that go quite well so yeah can't wait to stamp this out and see what it looks like 
So one other thing that actually showed up today as well was our Concord Knight. Now this is the first time we've ordered from Concord Knight. I don't think we have any of their products yet. But after seeing what we got with this, I, oh my gosh, I just fell head over heels with seeing the quality of their product. And it was nice to end up with two freebies. We have some dip dyed cards and envelopes that were free. Um, one was free with so much of a purchase and one was free for something else that day and I don't remember what it was but there's a set of um, I want to say it's a set of 12 let's see one two three four yeah a set of 12 um, a two size cards and matching coordinating envelopes that was our one free gift then the second one was this holly jolly banner die was also a free gift. So it's nice when half your package is free gifts. These, we both were intrigued with them. We've never seen an edge die with an angle like this. So I haven't opened these at all yet other than to take them out of the package, the mailing package. So as I play with them, I'll try to turn the camera on and see what we get. But these are just gorgeous patterns. I'm curious to see what they what they do. This one, this this set of dies is to do the edge of bags, to give yourself a serrated or a scalloped edge for a die. Um, some round tags, just little tiny tags, and these pieces can be used to create tag tops on any piece of paper that is that width. And then this is like a speech bubble bottom on that one. I'll turn it around and you can see the speech bubble. So that's going to be a versatile stamp set. One other thing we were lacking in was the um, die cut words for the holidays. And I'm still at a loss. I can't remember. Jolly? I think it's Jolly? No. Joy. Cheer. It's cheer. Yeah, maybe if I had some sleep I might know what I'm reading. Okay, so we have season and cheer, holiday, greetings, thanks, of thanks to you. It's the, to the new year and sending you. And we have some berries, some boughs, and the the little script too. Okay. And these huge sentiments. This is the faith and love. And again we have the speech bubble. We have faith, his, her, here, always trust, hope, him, love, seek, grace, voice, follow, charity, one word, have, the ampersand, and in. So these are words that can be used year-round, not just for holidays. So another timeless piece, and I, I like the big lettering on that. But what started it all with Concord 9th was the plaid. Just, just Christmas and plaid and holidays and plaid and fall and plaid. It just goes together. So again, I've not taken this out of the package. It's still sealed, but my mind's just going 90 mile an hour with different varieties to do the plaid. And then here's the lines that you can add in to even add more depth and dimension to that. So yeah, that was our mail today. So I love going to the mailbox when you actually get something fun and exciting and Especially free gifts. Always nice to get something free and see. Yeah, I mean, I, 
I'm starting to uh, not even want to go back into box stores when you can get this kind of quality stuff that is timeless and build onto your business or your hobby and not worry about, okay, well, when's this going to go out of style? When's this fad going to go out? And then there you're stuck with this stuff that you're not going to use for another five years or whatever, however long it takes to come back around. So that was, yeah, again, that was our, our happy mail for us for today anyhow. So, okay, guys, well, we will try to get some things worked on for you for this and hopefully get back into a video routine for you guys. It's just been, it's just been a lot going on. So please have patience with us and we will get back with you and hopefully start some inspiration back up. And we thank you for your support and comments and all of that. Take care and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.